Happy Sabbath. Uh, we are going to open up with a word of prayer, and I'm going to ask one of you to pray, and whoever prays, I want to make sure that you also pray for the Holy Spirit. Do you know why? Because the Holy Spirit's a teacher, and we're told the Holy Spirit teaches us all things, so we can't understand the scripture, the Bible, children's story without the Holy Spirit right? Because he's our teacher. So we're going to go ahead and open with a word of prayer. Can I get someone to pray for the Holy Spirit to be with us before we begin? No? Okay, I'll pray and then um, I'll let one of you close out, okay? Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you so much for this blessed Sabbath day. You've given us life. We are here and counted among the living, Lord. We uh, don't take that lightly, Father. We're so humbled to be able to be in your house uh, today to worship you in spirit and in truth. And I pray that you give us, impart to us, your Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things. Open up our minds that we may gain understanding and a lesson you would have us to learn. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Bible topics of all time. And I'm going to ask you, who knows the name of our church? Does anyone know where we are? What's the, what's the name of our church? This is a pop quiz. Please tell me someone knows the name of our church. I think I heard, I think I heard someone say it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that, that is the name of this building. But our church, because a church is actually a people, not a building. Did you know that? Do you know you can take church wherever you are as, as people? We can have church anywhere. It doesn't have to necessarily be in a building. So this church is called Three Angels Fellowship. Okay, so if someone asks you what church do you go to, you're going to tell them Three Angels Fellowship. Now let me ask you this. What is an angel? What does that mean? I think you know. What's, what's an angel? An angel is something, an angel is uh, somebody that tells things. Oh, okay, yes, right on. Did you guys hear her? She said, an angel is someone that tells things. We call that a messenger, right? So can an angel be an angel without having a message? We need to have a message. Have you ever heard someone say, oh, you're, you look like such an angel, or you're mommy or daddy's little angel, right? Sometimes people say that word and they don't really know the Bible meaning of an angel. An angel has a message. Very good job, Chloe. So we're going to be talking about um, in the book of Revelation. That's the what? First book of the Bible, last book of the Bible. Where do we find Revelation in our Bible? Out of all the 66 books, where's Revelation? It's the very last book of the Bible, right? So this is coming from Revelation chapter 14, verses 6 through 12. For those that have their Bible, and some of you have it memorized. But I like pictures. Um, I'm not going to read this story, but I just wanted you to look at the, that picture. How many angels do you see there in that picture? Three, okay. There's actually a fourth angel that empowers that, but that today we're going to focus on Three angels' message, okay? The three angels' message, the gospel in, in essence. So I um, wanted to give you that picture. So in school, how many of you, homeschool, regular school, how many of you have taken a test at school? You have to what? To pass the test, you have to study, right? You want to pass the test, you have to study. So do you know that the time that we're living in, that we're in a test right now? And we're being tested each and every day. And they call that Laodicea. We're in the time period of Laodicea, which means a judged people. So another word for a judgment is you're being tested. Now, I'm thankful that, Chloe, is Noah going to be your judge to see if you get in heaven? No. Who's going to be our judge? Who's our judge? God's our judge. He's our judge. So no one in here, not your parents, not any, we're not being judged by any human being here on earth. Aren't you happy about that? You know why I'm happy? Because some days people don't want to be your friend and they, they don't like you. So what if they're having a bad day and they said, you don't get to go to heaven? 
that would not be a just or very fair, would it? Even if you did everything right. But God is our judge because he's a just God, right? So we're going to be talking about in real quick, this is not the full three angels message, but this is how you can help remember really simply the three angels message, okay? Because we're all called to be angels, We're all called to give this message, okay? So in school, we have the word. Can someone tell me? Oop, sorry. Can someone tell me what this word at the top says? Go ahead. Yes. So it says true, but above that. So I put, I abbreviated. So you see 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. That's not times. That's not 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. But one, first angels, second angels, and third angels' message. The first angels' message, you're right, it's the true wor- worship. It's the true gospel message. And that is part of a test. So the first angels' message tells us, you and I, we're in a test. We're in a time period of judgment. And there is a true worship that we're being judged on. And if you have a true worship or a true gospel message, then we must also have a, almost, true, what's opposite of truth? True. False. False. Do you know another word for false could be like fake, like pretend, like an imposter? It's not the real one, right? So sometimes when you have tests, they tell you choose is it true, false, choose one? Can you choose two? Nope, not in this test. You have to choose one. Now, in some tests, it says all of the above. Not this test. You have to pick only one right, what? Answer. There's only one right answer. So the first angel's message tells you and I were being tested on true worship, the true gospel message. The second angel tells us, there's a false one. Don't be deceived. Don't fall into that trap. And it's in the religious world that might try to pretend to be the truth, but it's a fake. And then the third angel's message, it tells us, choose one. You have to make a choice. That's what the third angel tells us. But guess what? God wants you and I, he doesn't want us to fail the test. He wants us to pass the test. So he gives us the answer. Could you imagine we're being, on, we're being tested, but we have the answer key in the Bible. So wouldn't you want to study what the answer is so that you can choose between, between the, true, the truth and the false doctrine? Yes, and here's the answer. Two things. What do we have to do to make the best choice to not be deceived and pick the false but to pick the true we have to keep the yes keep the faith and also the 10 commandments the 10 commandments right to love god supremely and to love mankind all right so to keep the commandments of god and have the like you said have the faith of who Jesus. Have the faith of Jesus. Do you think you can do that? Practice obedience. Ask the Lord to give you strength to keep. You can't keep the Ten Commandments by yourself. You can't do it. You have to have his strength. Jesus will give you the power to do that and to have the faith of Jesus. Amen. That's the three angels message in short. And now you have that message that you can share and give the world the warning message out of love and mercy. Okay. Amen. All right. Who would like to pray? Pray for our day, the Sabbath day. Chloe, would you like to pray for us? Okay. I'll pray. Father in heaven, Lord, I thank you for this, uh, your gospel message, the three angels message. I pray that you give us uh, courage and boldness, empower our young people, Lord, um, to just go forward and even um, spread the message out of love, Lord, that... uh, The gospel should be so simple that even children should be able to understand and brief, Lord, that we might even have five minutes with someone, but to be able to give this loving uh, message, Father, give us uh, the faith of Jesus Christ and empower us by your Holy Spirit 
uh, strengthen us so that we may be obedient to your every command. In Jesus' name, amen. We can come up and grab the baskets for our collection of offerings. 